Hey guys, it's Joe from GeoWarm again. Uh, as you can see, I temporarily mounted a 20P board up here. This is a Vista 20P, and this is our Tellular TG1 Express, which we did in a previous video how to wire. And I just want to show you how to wire them in to the terminals on your panel. All you're going to have are four wires all together. You're going to have two for the phone, tip and ring. You're going to have two for power, positive and negative. So we'll start with the phone. They're going to go into screw terminals 23 and 24 on your panel. All right. So 23 is going to be tip, which is green. 24 is going to be ring, which is red. Once you have your phone wired in, and I would actually recommend powering down your panel, unplugging the transformer, and disconnecting the battery while you do this. This way here, um, you don't have to worry about shorting out your auxiliary power because you're not. If you have any motions or any any uh, any devices that require power, you'll have other wires going into here. So it's not always the perfect world that you're going to have a clean slate to work with. So now on here, we're going to wire it in. And always check the schematics to make sure on your panel. Um, but on all 20 P's, it's going to be on screw terminals 4 and 5. 4 is negative, 5 is positive. So black is going to be your negative, red is going to be your positive. So right now we have our positive and negative wired in, our phone wired in. From here, you would just go ahead and power your system back up and upon doing that you're going to see the lights light up and you're going to have one solid red light uh, I believe the solid red light is going to be at the bottom until it's activated once it gets activated you'll have a green light up top and a red light at the bottom and that's a normal condition so that's how you wire in a Tellular TG1 Express into a Honeywell Vista 20P panel thank you